how can we end it? I think that the way it will ultimately end is when it becomes uh, against our social mores so that women feel more free to come forward and be supported when the when the discourse in general uh, among the whole population goes in such a way that it's not acceptable and that it's part of all of our problems and not someone else's problem. We cannot end the scourge of gender-based violence without the engagement of half of the world's population. In particular, young men are a potent agent of change in transforming our narratives and our attitudes towards violence against women and girls. Young men are some of the most worthwhile investments in peace education. About women and how we also participate in that. How are we raising our sons and, you know, the men in our family, right? Do, are we doing things indirectly that we perpetuate it as well? When we get to the table, if you're the token woman at the table, so to speak, then do you really still have the voice there, right? Or because sometimes in my experience, I find sometimes when women get into these, into some of the positions, then they start acting like men and they keep perpetuating the same kinds of things that men are doing. So the feminine side of all of us that men and women have, that it brings another component of that softness, of that gentleness. And those don't have to be negative things. And, you know, those things are usually seen as less than, like, you know, men, is, it's that force and strength and all these kind of hard words. And so why are we talking about these things at the table? Because we really have to learn to love each other more as men and women on the planet. And that's how, that's how I think, ultimately, how we're gonna, how we're gonna resolve this. Added onto like the education and the reflective side is like, how do we create culture? And what kind of cultures are we creating? What kind of cultures are we leaving behind? And how is media playing into the culture that we're creating? Because for this generation, which is my generation, media factors us into a lot of our culture and the kind of culture we're creating for ourselves. So how are we being conscious about the role of violence in the media? And what kind of language are we using to perpetuate violence in the media that we do produce every day? So being conscious of the whole circle of that and the role it plays in our daily lives. I like this. I like having this conversation. And if it wasn't for in the, the day, would we gather this way to have this conversation? So I think we need to start gathering as women, even in small corners, right? Even in local communities, find a space, sit and have a conversation and just talk about stuff, making safe spaces for women and girls to speak.